Hi, it's Patsy. It's time of month for the September faves to all start coming out and for people to um, put up videos of the favourites that they're working with. This month mine is called September faves and frustrations because my month has been full of frustrations and um, not been able to work with too much at all um, because of the eyes. Um, so I haven't got an awful lot to show or, you know, because I've not really been able to do too much. Um, when I have been able to work with them, I've only been pulling one deck really. Um, I've had quite a lot of new ones, but I've done walkthroughs of those. And instead of going over, you know, I, I can't tell you no more than what I did in the walkthrough because I haven't really worked with any of them yet. Um, there's one more new one that I've received that um, I haven't shown yet. I'll, I'll show that in a minute. Um, but it's been one of those months where I've just not really been able to do too much at all. Um, I had one of the worst flares that I've had with my eyes at the beginning of September, um, which lasted a couple of weeks. Um, and that really knocked me back. Um, my um, anxiety and depression set in as well. And um, I struggled big time at the start of September um, to the point that I had to reach out to ask for help because it was dragging me down into a dark place. Um, and normally I would use a tarot to help me, but when my eyes are like this, I can't do nothing like that. So, um, I was in a real pretty bad place. Um, then things started to improve. I've got a wonderful optician who is lovely and I can sit in his office when I'm frustrated and have a good old cry. And he totally gets where I'm coming from, totally understands the impact it's had on my life and what have you. And it's really good to have somebody who actually understands a little bit about what you're going through. Um, because when you don't suffer from it or know what it entails, um, for people who do, um, it's very difficult for them to really understand. Um, but he understood and he was, he was lovely. Um, he keeps a close eye on me. I have to go in every couple of weeks for a check -up. But, um, yeah, um, I had started to find an improvement in them from, um, some different things he tried with me and, um, I was getting on fine and I was managed to do a few videos and what have you. Um, but then the doctors messed up a prescription of antibiotics for me and left me a weekend without any antibiotics. And um, it put me back. Um, we're not to square one, as the optician said, you know, it just set me back. It's just a frustration for me because I just got to quite a good place with them. Um, they weren't great still, but they was okay and I could manage to do a lot, lot more. Um, but leaving me without any um, antibiotics and um, allowed the blepharitis to flare up again so i've had a week this last week where um things have been very difficult again and i'm not sleeping again because the eyes um impact on my sleep and all this like as well so it's been a difficult month um i've had some good points as well but on the whole it's been quite a difficult month um and like i say um i haven't really been able to do too much and uh, in, it's so frustrating um, these when you you used to being able to do all the you know um readings and cards and um one of the things i love to do is study and writing down in my um tarot journals i've got loads of tarot journals and i can't i can't read i can't write and it's very frustrating and trying to adapt to that is very difficult um I was getting to a point where I could read, I could start reading a page or two of stuff and start writing a page or two of stuff, then I would have to take a break and leave it either for 24 hours or so, um, but then could go back, but I can't even do that again now. So like I said, it is getting, it was getting okay, but um, this setback, but um, it's just annoying and frustrating for, you know, when you were just getting on top of it, for it to all flare back up again, which, you know through no fault of my own so the month i've spent um like i said only really working with one tarot and it's the tarot grand lux by um kiro marchetti i'm not going to show you all this i think i showed this in my last favorites because this is um i hope you can see this all right because the light's coming in through that window um i showed this i've done and i've also got a walk a walkthrough i absolutely love this um artwork on this deck and it reads really well and it's actually stunning when you've got a spread laid out with these i did a spread for somebody um in that period of time where my eyes weren't too bad and um it looked absolutely stunning all 
laid out and, and it read really well um, so yeah this has become a real favourite of mine and I've really enjoyed working with this this month but this is the only tarot that I've pulled this is the only tarot I think it helps because it's such a clear imagery and very wide awake um, so it's not got too many small details for me to need to focus into with my eyes um, but yeah this is really one that I really am enjoying working with I do, uh, I do really enjoy that so that's the one that I've been working with the other article that I've got, what I haven't shown yet, is one that I've wanted for a long time and I, for some reason it just kept getting pushed to the back. It's the Sacred Earth article. It's a Tony Carmine Salerno and Layla J. Williams, but the artwork is by Helena Nelson Reed. Now, people who are um, regular to my channel will know that I do like a Tony Carmine Salerno, but this isn't his harp, his artwork, as I said. It is a blue angel, as most of his decks are, and that's the back. But this is stunning artwork. Stunning artwork. Um, I'm really looking forward to when they start working with these. I should say a lot of you have already seen them. It's a bit of a glare because they are shiny, as Blue Angels cardstock usually is. But I'm really looking forward to working with these. Just flicking through them, I was, you know, really excited about them. Um, I'm not going to do all the cards. I won't show all the cards. Um, I, this deck has been out for a while and I'm sure there's lots of walkthroughs of this one so what I shall do is I shall wait till I've worked with it for a little bit and then I shall come and make a, a video about how I'm finding it and what have you but that is a lovely lovely deck um, but like I said there's lots of walkthroughs if people wanted to see it more um, it's the Sacred Earth I recall um, and like I said I will once I've worked with it for a little while come on and um, let you know how I'm getting on with that. Uh, probably even do a reading with it or something. And that's another frustrating thing. There's so many things I want to do on my channel and I've not really been able to do anything. Um, the same as on my Facebook page, you know, and group. It just stops me from doing too much and that's really frustrating. I've got all these things in my head I want to do and I plan to do. And then I go to do it and my eyes just won't cooperate. So very annoying. Another thing that I've been doing this month, um, which I, I do a lot when my eyes are like this, is I listen to a lot of YouTube. Um, I can't always comment, as I've said before, and if people comment, I, I, I try to at least love the comment. Um, but um, it's very difficult for me to um, write at times, so I can't always. But when my eyes get like this, I do listen to a lot of Audible books as well as listen to a lot of YouTube channels. Um, last month i was listening to um reading the tarot the ultimate guide by shauna blood um it's um very much a beginner's one i should say but most tarot books you know very often are um and it's just sort of going through the cards and keywords and all things like that and how to read the tarot but it just gives me something to listen to and um it was okay um i wouldn't say that i enjoyed it as much as the kitchen table tarot um but if you're starting out and you just want a book about the different meanings and that, the thing that um, I did find right at the beginning that annoyed me a little bit, she said um, that the tarot is full of all these, um, I think she's the Golden Dawn, she she reads the Golden Dawn star, you know, um, that you shouldn't be using it to um, intuitively sort of thing, you know, that people say you can read the tarot intuitively, but she didn't agree with that. Um, and the voice that... Um, narrated it kind of grated on me a little bit as well but i got through it and it was okay um another one that i um started reading but i've not got uh, started listening to but i've not really got that far into it um is the ancestral medicine by daniel for phd narrated by andrew rick is um all about ancestral medicine working with ancestral medicine that looks like it's going to sounds like it's going to be really interesting but it's 10 hours um over 10 hours about 11 hours long um, but it's one of those that I really need to listen to when it's quiet. My house isn't always quiet because it's, it's quite in depth. Um, but that's one that I shall be continuing with this month. And another one that I'm listening to is Stairways to Heaven, which is um, Lorna Bryan. I don't know if you say Bryan or Byrne, B-Y-R-E-N-E. Lorna Byrne, I think that's how you say her name. She's an angel lady. She sees guardian angels. Um, she visits in the angelic realm and she can see everybody so she's walking around and talks to people she can see their guardian angels behind them and this is her one of her books she's got quite a few books but this is one of her books and um, when 
she lost her husband um, at a young age and how she, you know, how the angels helped her and what have you. So I'm finding that really fascinating as well because, um, as you know, I do like my angels. Um, another thing that I've been listening, and this is um, also something else that I'm really interested in and I tend to um, do a lot of work on when I can, um, but at the minute because I can't, I'm doing a lot of watching and listening to um, videos on YouTube and it's past lives. And I'm reading a series at the minute about children and their experiences when they come out with these things and how some of these stories, when they've been traced back, um, these people have actually lived and have actually died. And these children um, are been so uncannily um, accurate in what they've described about this person and recognise people and lots of different, you know, little things that all add up to, to making it, you know, extremely likely that these children were... Um, reincarnations of the these people and I find that absolutely fascinating so I've been watching a lot of that um, so that's really all I've been doing um, and trying to um, stay afloat with my mental health um, it's difficult at times but I'm getting there um, I'm back home now as you can see um, one of the decisions I made when I was going through a really bad time was decision to get rid of my caravan um, because I was finding that I was using that as a um, an escape, so I didn't have to really live in the real world and mix with people, including my own family. And but I was um, what's the word? I was isolating myself. I was isolating myself, and that's not good when you have mental health issues in the first place. Um, so we took the decision to sell that. We're going to get a tour, so we can tour around the country next year. So that is what we're going. Our plans are to do. Um, but the caravan sadly had to go. But I think that was the right decision for us as a family and for me as well. So, um, yeah, next year we will be just taking that out. There are still be going to Maplethorpe because I love Maplethorpe, but we will be visiting other places too. Um, and I've decided I'm going to decorate my house from top to bottom um, just to cheer myself up, basically. But, you know, these things need doing, so it's time to do them. And I want it all done before Christmas, so it's going to be busy. Um, but hoping that now I'm back on my antibiotics, um, and I'm in a bit better place though I'm still struggling at times that I'll soon be able to get back into the swing and my eyes allow me to get back into the swing of um, doing what I love to do best um, but it's difficult um, but I will get there I always do and um, yeah I've got a great optician now so all I can do is hope for the best and I will speak to you all soon thanks for listening to my rambling um, sorry, sorry, I haven't got much to show you. It's just been one of those months where there isn't much to show really. And what I have had, I've showed in um, the walkthroughs, um, but I haven't used them. So I've got nothing to add up to those. But I will be back as soon as I can and I will speak to you all soon. Take care. Bye for now.